Anyone here familiar with the notion of servant leadership? You will talk about that here in class. Uh, you know, it's a no, it's a it's a um, uh, you know for me it's an incredibly powerful uh, uh, kind of way of leading, and um, you know the notion of servant leadership and what you see on the right hand side is the, your prototypical model for servant leadership, which is really an up di- upside down pyramid, and it's certainly you know for me when I think about Russell's uh, gears. And then I flip it upside down and I think about the servant leadership. When I put those two together, for me, that ultimately embodies the type of leader that I want to be, that I aspire to be. Am I, do I get it right every single day? Absolutely not, right? But you know, you're on this path of learning. You're on this path of striving to be, uh, to be the leader that you want to be. And it's really that your customers are at the top of the pyramid, right? They're the ones that you're really serving. Ultimately, as a leader, you're really serving your colleagues, which are serving the customers. And I truly believe that as an executive, if we take care of our colleagues, they're going to take care of the customers, and everything else is going to take care of itself. Um, and you know, in many ways, I work for the executives at Macy's. We work for our frontline colleagues. And our job is to empower them, to help them make decisions. And ultimately, we're just looking to make sure that those mechanical gears are all operating in the same cadence and in the same alignment. Uh, so that way, as a business, when our frontline colleagues are engaging with our customers, that's all they have to think about.